Hello everyone, uh, welcome. Uh, are you keeping up yourself curious and studious? Here is some more things for you to learn. Today it is about sets. Okay, so um, what I want to speak with you is the following um, about sets. Okay, so sets is all about, you know, this one is not what I want to do. I think, okay. Um, Okay, so this is uh, all about sets. The sets, uh, sets the data structure is like dealing with a basket of elements. You know, uh, in the case of uh, lists and tuples, position matters. But here, there is no position; it's just a collection of items. Okay, so sets are because of that. Sets are unordered, and they do not have an in index. Um, also, the members are unique, um, and set boundary container symbols are. This, you know, uh, squiggly brackets, left squiggly, right squiggly. This symbol is also used for dictionary later on, we'll see. So you have to be a little careful, uh, bec you know, you have to, you, if you, for example, you know, you define something, especially, for example, if I ask for an empty set and then say uh, it's, it's functional, it's attributes, then it might get confused with the dictionary, okay? So you will see that at the bottom, you know, uh, later on, okay? Um, so... Uh, let's just, you know, take those two famous, you know, lists that I have, I have shown you before, that is berries and names, right? And for some interesting reason, let's say that, you know, Ram likes, you know, that's a, that's a correspondence here. There are actually three, six, nine names and three, six, nine berries, okay? So you can just, you know, for fun, think that Ram likes each one of them, each one of the name is supposed to associate, associate with, you know, the corresponding location in the list for the berries also. Ram likes Akai, Sam likes Goose, Pam likes Blue, Ma'am likes Tra, and so on, okay? Now, I just run this, run this one, let's do that. Run this one, and then uh, I'm going to freshen it, with, you know, restart with clear output, okay? Um, and then I can run it so it will become number one when I run it, okay? So run this one. All right. Come on, okay. So now I run that the display command control, I usually do that. And then I'm defining, you know, set of, uh, I apply the set function to the list, berries, to get a set of berries list, okay? Otherwise it is a list, you know. In, 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 I want to convert this into uh, set. Because I want to show you that, you know, Akai is coming twice, but when I convert it into a set, it will uh, represent only one. So we'll see that pretty soon. And then I take the same berries and convert into a tuple and then you know, apply the set function for that. And I say it is a set of berries tuple, okay? And then I just print those things. So let's do that. And then I get the answer here as uh, exactly same for both, you know, list and the tuple you can see. Uh, but what is the important thing is that, no, the Akai was there twice in the list, but it is now last, okay? As an example here. Now, um, uh, we can convert a, so that's what we saw that, right? We can convert a, a list to a, uh, oh, we can convert a list to the set. That's what we did. We saw that. And then, um, uh, so this is basically repetition of that. But what, what, where I'm going is that, no, how do we find the length of a, a list? And, you know, the easiest way to do that is, you no know, convert that, you know, list into a set and then apply it. That's the easiest, simplest way. So set of berries is, you know, berries list, right? Whatever we have here, that is actually nine of them, right? Set of berries are nine of them. But if I want the unique members of the list, unique members of the list, then I make it into a set and then I look for the length of the set. That's all, okay? I hope, you know, uh, it's a, this is an interesting, you know, otherwise you'll have a lot more codes to make, you know? This is the easiest way to, uh, if you want to find out the unique mem number of unique members in a list or a tuple, this is the way to do it, okay? And uh, let us say, as in mathematics, you know, uh, we can uh, use two sets to get union, intersection, difference, uh, uh, you know, all those things, okay? Different sets. Union of sets, intersection of sets, and difference, difference of sets, okay? So, for example, you know, let's say I'm, I'm going to add one more you know, uh, set, Indian berries, glue, star, conquer, and bar. It's, it's called either bear or bar, so I note it like this. Indian berries I like. Among them is conquer and, you know, this bar, barberry. Um, so, uh, American, on the other hand, these are the Indian berries I like. The American berries I like is, you know, remember I have eight of them, right? Now, out of that, these five I like them, you know. 
So, berries in the store, on the other hand, are this. Goji, goose, glue, star, conquer, and bar, bar okay? As I guess I mean, some interesting problems about union intersection and difference here, okay? Um, so, but before I do that, uh, let me first this, run this one. And then before I do that, I want to see what are the functions, special functions available for set, okay? And, you know, set to data structure. So, I defined an empty set uh, here. This is an empty set uh, defined. And then I apply a set function to that to make sure explicitly that it is about sets. It is not branching out to uh, some uh, complications with, you know, dictionaries, okay? So, um, so when, once I do that, and then I am marking, I'm asking directory uh, functions for the set one. Okay, that's what gives me this long list. It's amazingly interesting. A lot of things are there. Okay, uh, important thing that I want to add, you know, bring it to your attention is that you know the contains, you know, is a very important function. Whether you know something is contained, right? Or in other words, you know, the set one contains, you know, set two elements and so on, right? Uh, there is something uh, other functions also here, subset and so on, superset, right? That's what this one is. Is is the is a set subset of uh, something else you know we can check for the truth function is is it a superset we can check for the tr truth function of course we have you know intersection union and difference okay key key functionalities oh I, you may not be able to see the intersection I mean, it is below sorry about that so um so intersection here it is is, you know, is subset, is superset, you know, verifications are available, symmetric difference, difference, union, update, discard, remove, and there is, yeah, remove is also there, add, clear, copy, all those things we can do with the sets, okay? So now let's uh, do some, you know, uh, interesting problem solving here. What berries I like are not in the store, I want to know that, okay? Uh, before that, I want to do this. What are all the berries I like? So that is Indian berries I like, and then union with American berries I like, okay? So berries I like is, Indian berries I like, union with American berries I like. So I think it's already written, so it, this, these things are already run. So the berries I like are bar, berry, bar, bar, conquer, goji, golden, goose, mulberry, and strawberry, okay? What berries I like that are in the store, okay? So I take the berries I like, intersect with the berries in the store, okay? That gives me the answer that is, these are the berries in the store, which I like them, okay? Uh, or in other words, among the berries I like, what are the berries in the store? These are the four berries. And then what berries I like are not in the store. So in order to do that, you know, I have to find out all the berries, okay? Uh, berries, you know, uh, uh, berries list. The, the all berries are berries uh, list, which I, you know, I called it as American berries. American berries is the same as, you know, berries, okay? So let me, if you want to call it, let me, I think I should have written it somewhere here. Let me go back. American, actually, American berries I, I like is there. So that must be there. American berries here. Let me see. Berries, I should call it as American berries, maybe that's better, okay. Amer uh, berries, and then I will write it, you know, two times, that's better, okay. Uh, and I will write it in, in very close to the Indian berries, then, you know, they will remember that. That's not the way we write the name here. Okay. All right, I run that one. And I get the answer, it is right, working, and then I rerun it again, this one. These functions are, you know, I, we understand those functions. So the berries I like is Indian berries I like, union with American berries I like, okay? American berries I like, oh, I need to do American berries I like. Do I have American berries I like? Yeah, American berries I like is also there, okay? Uh, American berries is there, and then American berries I like are also there. So it's all done, so I can run this one, okay? Uh, I can I can do this one. The berries I like is Indian berries I like uh, union with American berries I like and then berries I like you know I just want to print it and here it is it's coming. So bar conquer goji golden ghost mal strawberry these are the things I like. Berries I like intersection with this in the store. Uh, the you know what are the berries I like are that are also in the store. That's what this one is. So I need to have an intersection function. So berries I like is there already. Berries in the store is there already. So which is Berries in the store is there. So I just intersect to get that answer, okay? What berries I like are in the store, okay? So that's what I want to run, and it's coming. The answer is, you know, this one, okay? Uh, bar, conquer, goji, goose, you know? So uh, these two are from India, you know, Indian berries list, and these two are from the American berries list. So these four berries are there. What berries I like are not in the store, okay? So what do I have to do? I first take the all berries, 
Okay, that means berries or American berries, you can say that way. All berries are berries, uh, American American berries, and union with the Indian berries. There's only two types of berries you know, we are discussing in this, uh, in this example, so that's all it is. So all berries are set of ber American berries, union with uh, Indian berries. Okay, uh, I don't need to do the set again because it's already created as a set. When I was using it as a berries, it was not a set. So let's run this and check it out. So I know all berries and then I take the all berries difference with the berries in the store. That gives me all berries not in the store. So that's what this one is, all berries not in the store. And then I take the difference, uh, berries I like with berries in the store. Okay, because not in the store, berries uh, in the store. Okay, difference with this one. So we don't need this one. All berries not in the store is over. Okay, or let me do this way. I don't know why I was redoing that one, but maybe I was doing something before, not now. Okay. So here is the uh, answer. All berries not in the store is all berries difference with the berries in the store. Okay. That's what it is. So, and then I call the print of that one all berries not in the store. I run that. Let's see. Okay. There is a problem, so let's see. Yeah, list object has no attribute union, list object has no attribute. So this is considered as a, uh, all berries, American berries uh, union. So American berries is a list, that's a problem, okay? So I have to make it as a set. So no problem, we can apply the set function here. So let's run it. And so these are the berries I like, you know, berries, Berries, berries I like that are not in the store. These are berries I like but are not in the store. Okay, so how many berries I like? Let me check it out. Berries I like are, uh, berries I like are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, out of that, you know, berries I like that, you know. So it's a complicated, you know, in, you know operation. You remember that, okay? Because I'm bringing in the all berries also. So uh, all berries not in the store. So it will be more than that. Okay, so fine, that is fine. Um, so similarly, we can do, uh, we can use other set functions such as set add, set clear, set remove, set update, uh, and then uh, the non-operator versions of update intersection will accept any iterable as an argument. Okay, these these things, update intersection, it can have any iterable, uh, you know, uh, as an argument. Uh, also, you can you know you can get you can freeze the set you can, which, so that it becomes immutable set uh, explicitly by using a function called frozen set. So, for example, if you say you know this is the set, you know I am applying the function frozen set for that you know uh, for this set, and then I just print it. Let's see what happens here. So it says it is frozen set, and these are the elements here. Okay, so um, so these are some of the introductions for uh, sets. Yeah, handling, uh, you know, uh, elements in Python, okay? So, thank you very much, everybody, and until I see you next time, tomorrow, uh, enjoy your day and enjoy your learning. Be studious and be curious. Bye-bye.